When we deal with weight management, we often find there's subtle nuances that make the experience unique for each individual. And this is often why the off the shelf, one size fits all solutions don't work for most people. The problem they're trying to solve is not the same as everybody else. We had an interesting patient that seemed to be doing everything right. They were eating well, hormonally, we could not find any major problems. But that being said, they just couldn't seem to tackle their weight issue. So of course we dove into the genes first. And what we found was when it comes to food, there's the perception of food first. We start at the brain. And what we see is that there's one thing to understand when you're full. There's literally a gene, there's a function to trigger from your gut to your brain to tell you I'm done and I've eaten enough. But there's a whole other genetic process to understand that I'm satisfied, that my mouth got what I needed. And for those that are suboptimal, this leads to snacking. If you don't get that satisfaction in the mouth that you needed, you will constantly eat to drive that pleasure. Now, if you compound on top of that, somebody having an addictive wiring, meaning that their dopamine levels are low and they need more pleasure, or their dopamine levels are too high and they get stuck in pleasure, this could also lead for that snacking to continue. So we often find, as was true for this patient, while they're doing things right in their main meals, they're ignoring the snacking in between. So what do we do for these people? We actually told this lady that, look, your problem is not that you don't exercise right, that you don't eat right. You're doing everything right. It's the in-betweens. You're not looking at the small problems, which is the snacking. All those extra calories, all that extra sugar, all those extra fats that you never even thought you were taking in. How do we deal with it? If the problem was that genetically, they don't get satisfied in the mouth and it's harder to get there, well, we need to create that satisfaction. How do we do that? Multiple flavors, multiple textures. We literally told them, cheese, cracker, chocolate, grape, put a snack together that gives you the satiation, that satiety, that sense of, I got the salty, the crunchy, the sweet, the sour, the soupy, all of it in one sitting. That gives the brain the satisfaction and that hit that it needs before the meal and after the meal. And all of a sudden, they didn't have that need to snack. Not having that need to snack eliminated all those extra calories, all the extra sugar, all the extra fat, and that one thing completely changed their weight problem.